Hey drummers, hope you're well. Shout out to Superstar channel member Drew, who was asking about this uh, a while ago, a short while ago, did a video about playing drums in a 1960s rock and roll Keith Moon type of style. And that was just about fills and it was about playing the bass drum on eighth notes, right? It's just a sort of fun way of quickly tapping into that feel. Uh, and Drew was saying today, is there any other way that you can sound a bit like Keith Moon? And of course there is, yeah. The, I mean, the main thing to do is study his drumming, of course. Like, take time, study his parts. Like, if you, I know this isn't, this is a funny thing because this isn't what he would have done. But like, get the charts. Like, if, if you can read, obviously you can really get into a drummer style, digest their material, digest their stuff. You can do that. A great thing to do, I, I really love to do, is just take a couple of bars out that are like a really typical of a tune or a section in a tune. This is won't get fooled again. And then you just kind of work with those couple of bars. I'm, I'm going to pick these two bars here. So I think they're really typical of this song, but really typical of his feel. Uh, there's a couple of really distinct things that are happening there that I personally probably wouldn't by default put in or a lot of drummers wouldn't by default put in that are quite Keith Moody if you see what I mean just in my ears anyway uh, one is the crashing on beat four so a lot of the time it's a trashy hi-hat thing But that crash on beat four is quite a Keith Moon. It's like every bar. And then it's the bit that goes bum bum bum. It's the skip note on the snare drum, but also that move down. I'm not sure if it is the floor tom or what. It's a bit hard to tell on the original, but a tom tom of some sort in that second bar. Three and. So whole two bar phrase. One, two, and three, and And the real point is here, we're not, I mean, even if you don't play that exactly, it doesn't really matter. Like his whole thing, of course, was he was just this most creative drummer. I never played anything the same twice. So it's about getting a basic feel that's in that, has that vibe, has that sort of overall feel to it. And then have some fun with it from there, right? So I'll just play around on that. And if you start getting familiar with it, just start to add in some of your own variations, start to put in those drum fills that have perhaps the here and there have that pounding away eighth note. You could, of course, pick a couple of drum fills that you hear on the song and put those in as well. But that's what this is about. It's just coming at it from a very basic point of view, really. We're just going to roll that two bars a little bit. I'll start it slow and we'll build it up. And then the idea is you'd sit with this, just play with it. This is what I would do just to kind of get in the, that right frame of mind to play something like this. All right, here it comes. So it's one and two and three and four. One, two and three and four. One and two and three. Faster. And three, four, one, two, 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 three. When you get a bit of flow going with that, I would use that as a starting point and then just start to have a bit of fun, right? and so on, right? Stick the music on. This won't get fooled again. Have a bit of fun with it. And it's just one way of really getting your head into it, isn't it? Just taking out a couple of bar section and use that as a starting point because I get the feeling that's kind of some to some extent how the creative process was working for him. He had this sort of overall feel in mind, but he certainly wasn't saying, oh, this is the exact drum beat. So all this is is a starting point. As usual, on the channel members page, I'll put a no full notation for that two bars and a practice along version so you can just roll that around whatever speed you like and build it up from there. And it's just a great 
just my suggestion for how to get into a drummer's mindset. Pull out a couple of bars if you can do that and just play around with it, get a little feel for it, expand out from there. Shout out to Drew and uh, thanks for watching as always. Really appreciate it. Cheers.